hi everyone in front of me i've got a xiaomi 14 ultra and let me share with you how to change keyboard language on this device so let's start with opening the keyboard for example in the messages notes browser whatever just have the keyboard on the screen and all you have to do is to tap on this settings icon in this upper panel now let's enter the languages and as you can see, this is the list of all currently applied languages we've got on the English, which is based on our system language. So let's simply tap on Add Keyboard. And here we've been transferred to the full list of available keyboards from which we can choose. So as you can see, we've got plenty of options to choose from. You can scroll and find it, or you can simply enter the uh, the name of the uh, of the of the language. Mm, and all you have to do is to tap on it. And as you can see, uh, after tapping on the language, we'll be transferred to this uh, keyboard layout section. Uh, and basically here you have to choose it. The, the amount of the uh, layouts depends on the language. Sometimes you will have only one and sometimes even up to uh, seven or ten different keyboard layouts. So all you have to do is to tap on the option you'd like to apply. I'll choose this graphical one and turn off. Um, the other um, layout just by tapping on it again to uh, to make it inactive uh, but of course if you want to you can use two so let's tap on done after that and as you can see we just successfully added our language to the list and before i'll show you how to remove the previous language i'd like to show you how to use the keyboard with two or more languages added uh, so let's go back to the keyboard and basically, fortunately, right now we've got some kind of hints from the developer uh, what we should do. However, um, previously they were not available. Basically, here we've got the globe icon, which will allow us to change the language. As you can see, we can freely uh, choose between them uh, during the typing. What is more, um, the spacebar, it's not empty anymore. Right now we've got the name of the language we are currently using, which is a nice touch because we can always check which one we've got deployed. It is extremely useful, especially if you've got more than three or four languages added, which are um, which are pretty similar to each other. All right, so uh, in order to remove the previous language or any language, we have to enter the settings again, tap on the languages. And here in this step, we have to tap on this edit icon in the right upper corner. So let's simply tap on it and mark the language you want to remove. I will remove all the ones, so let me tap on it and tap on this trash bin icon. As you can see, we've got only one language applied in my case English, but of course, in your case, it can be any other language. All right, so that will be all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful, and if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.